Well, you might know him from the uh, newer It movies or from the latest Goosebumps spooktacular, but now he's making a splash on one of TV's biggest uh, mystery thriller shows. Cody's standing by with him to give us a little more detail. That's right. Uh, Jeremy Ray Taylor joining us right now. What's up, Jeremy? Hi, how are you? Great. Uh, you're on Big Sky these days. Uh, my wife was on the treadmill uh, when you first popped up on Big Sky. She got off the treadmill. <laughs> she ran in. She goes, hey, that guy you love from It is on Big Sky. That's awesome. <laughs> Let's talk about It. You were so good as Ben. So good as Ben. But I got to ask you, you know, the mean kids, they carved up your belly in It. That was a it very did. important oh, wow. part of It. It's very important to the story. How did yeah. they do that? How did they do it? Um, so funny story, I actually have it on my door right now, like the real prosthetic. Um, basically, they, they took this H prosthetic. Uh -huh. um, they had a real knife in hand for most of the scene, um, which actually took a lot of trust in, in the bully that yeah. actually bullied Nick Hamilton. Um, and then as soon as they'd get close, they'd say, stop. They'd take the knife out of his hand, and then they'd put the fake one in his hand, and they'd just continue. And then he'd like basically trace the prosthetic. And then they would like edit it out and then back in as he drew it. Get so. out. That's crazy. Yeah. Now, are you wireless right now? You are wireless, right? You're wireless I headphones. Am. Do, you, do you mind getting up and showing us that? I can do that. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on. So I'm grab it off my wall. Everybody just hang out for a second. I want to see. What <laughs> it, was, it was a party gift. Well, That's so cool. We get to keep it. That is so neat. I know, right? Okay. Here it is. <gasps> that was it? Yes. Oh. It from it. Crazy. It does look strange, does um, look but weird. they would put blood in these uh, in these crevices, and it's like really thick, because um, the prosthetics crew was so amazing on that on that show that they they wanted to give me a little something to to remember the project by. That is so cool! You got to keep that. Now, yeah. how old were you when you were filming this? Uh, I guess I was thirteen. Thirteen. Very young. Now, did yeah. you get to see the movie? Did your parents go, okay, you can see the whole <laughs> thing, or did they make you wait till you're a little bit older? My parents weren't against it at all. I was, though. Um, <laughs> I was so terrified of horror movies. Uh, I didn't want to touch it. I told all my castmates I wasn't going to the premiere. They're like, dude, like, you're not going to go watch your own movie? I'm like, absolutely not. There's no way. Um, and I totally caved. I got way too excited. Uh, and I went in. And it actually gave me a new kind of appreciation for horror. So now I actually like like it a lot. Oh, excellent. That's good to hear. I, it's surprising yeah. that you, you were kind of you know, weirded out by horror movies because you did a ghost, uh, uh, um, what else did you do? You did uh, um, um, oh, Goosebumps. R.L. Stein stuff. Yeah, Goosebumps. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like I, I kind of got pigeonholed into like 90s horror remakes after it. <laughs> um, it, but I, but I always loved doing it. I never, I never minded like working with the prosthetics and and I love fight scenes. I love doing my own stunts and all that kind of stuff. So I never really minded doing it. It was just like the actual watching of it that would terrify me. I'm with you because that terrified me. It totally yeah. did. I can't see a balloon now without getting scared, man. I can't. There you go. I can't do it. Uh, let's that means talk we did about, our job. Let's talk about your new role. Uh, tell us what you're doing with Big Sky, man. Um, well, Big Sky was actually something I never heard of until I actually got the audition for the role. Um, and then I was, I just got off a role in, in senior year. And so uh, in, in Atlanta, that's not out yet, but I got, I got back home. And then as soon as I got back home, it was like three months have gone. My agent was like, Hey, you're going to have to go back. And I was like, what? That's awesome. Okay. And so, uh, me and my girlfriend started watching the show and it's, it was awesome. It's about, it's about two female detectives kind of getting into trouble in Montana, AKA big sky. Those are them right there. Um, it's a, it's a really cool show. It's kind of a mystery. It's, it's pretty dark, but it's, it's, it's funny. Um, and we kind of bring a new light in the show as, as kids in these shows. Cause you never really see kids in the show except uh -huh. for like the first few episodes of the first season. Um, I've I've been really really enjoying it, and we're actually still filming now. So well, I you're great at it, by the way. You, it's fantastic. Thank you. I love it because it's really good. Uh, but uh, already you're you're winning at this acting game, man, because your agent <laughs> actually calls you back. Mine never called you. Back. <laughs> Never. Yeah. It took me six years for my agent ever to call me back. So <laughs> you'll get there. Go. Just oh, don't get man. there. I'll, I'll you'll get there. Thank you, sir, for joining us. And thank you so much for showing us the prosthetic that they put on of your course. belly. That was the coolest, man. That was the coolest. <laughs>